Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube channel subscriber link. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser. So I'm here on my YouTube channel and this is like the default URL for my YouTube channel. It's just got loads of numbers and digits after it. When you get to 100 subscribers, so if you have 100 subscribers, you can create a custom URL. So my custom URL for this particular channel is youtube.com slash user slash DCP web designers. So that's much more easier to give to someone or to read out to someone. But when I get to this page, I want to prompt them to automatically or show an automatic prompt for them to subscribe, right? So if I give this in an email to someone or if I create a, a post somewhere on social media and say click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I want them to go directly to this page, but also show them a subscribe prompt. To make that work, all we will do is add this extra bit of content at the end of the URL. So I'm going to put in question mark sub underscore confirmation equals one and when i hit the enter key the page will reload and this prompt will show up asking uh, if i want to subscribe to this channel right so i'm going to click cancel because i'm already subscribed uh, you, you can't basically you can't subscribe to your own channel so if i go over to twitter let me just delete this tweet and i'm going to create a new tweet and in this tweet i'm just going to say um, something like why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for 500 plus free video tutorials and then I'll put in that subscribe link right so I need to put the full URL in there so it would just be simply this URL here, youtube.com slash DCP web designers. That's my main URL. Then I'll put a question mark. Let's undo that. Question mark sub underscore confirmation equals one. I'm going to tweet this. So imagine if someone reads this on my Twitter and they click on that link, it will open in a new window. Just give it a few seconds. It's going to go to my page and it's going to show them the subscribe straight away. So hopefully they'll subscribe, right? I have to go looking for the subscribe button that will subscribe straight away. So there's another type of YouTube URL. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this Magix Me Reddit Pro. I'm going to click on this one intentionally because it doesn't have a custom URL. You can see it's just numbers and digits afterwards. You need to get to 100 subscribers before you can have a custom URL. I'm just going to go and switch to this account. So let's just go to switch. And I'm going to switch to this particular channel. So I'm going to be using this particular user, right? So if I were to, um, let's just say I want to create a subscribe link for this channel. It's the same process. It's just I don't have a custom URL. So it would be youtube.com slash all of these numbers in digits. And then it would just be a uh, question mark sub underscore confirmation equals one. If I hit the enter key again, it prompts me for the subscription here again, right? So whether you have a custom URL or whether you have just a default URL because you don't have 100 subscribers yet, then all you need to do is uh, just put this question mark, uh, sub underscore confirmation equals one, and then you can get people to directly go to your page and it will prompt them to, to, to subscribe. So if you're putting Facebook posts out there, if you're doing things on Twitter or on your website or in your email signature, anywhere across the internet, if you want to divert people to your YouTube channel, you can do that, but it will be even more nice that when they get there, it automatically asks them to, sus to su subscribe to your channel. Okay, let's go ahead and minimize this. I hope you find that tutorial useful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.